find the light in empty days. I take my counsel with wine. My own devices have robbed me of reckless leisure. My worth will be proven in time. The evening follows me like a blanket. I am less convinced of anything. I don't feel wise, but I have learned to love. Culture isn't cheap. If you bite the hands that bleed. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to Gabriel and Jotica's uh, wedding. Uh, it's been a wedding week, and it's been a very special week for this family and for all of you. Um, I'm, I'm so privileged to be able to now officially welcome Gabriel and Jotica to their wedding. Um, and especially welcome to those who are on the Zoom. Uh, great to have you in uh, with us, and uh, really just want to encourage you to make some uh, comments in the and to send some well wishes, but please make sure you put your name with them so that Gabriel and Jessica can get those as well. 
Often I think about um, marriage and what an honor it is uh, to be married. And, uh, and I think of what a great, a great place this is uh, for you guys to exchange your vows. It's a beautiful place and a setting that is uh, apt for what you're about to do, to commit yourselves to each other. Marriage is a different relationship to any other relationship that we have. Uh, often when I talk to couples who uh, are getting married, they'll tell me, well, we're just getting married. And I'll go, no, no, you're not just getting married. There's something different. And after they've got married, I'll ask them, so is there anything different? They'll say, yes, it is different, but we can't explain what it is. And that's the thing about marriage. You can be dating for years. You can be living together for years. You can be engaged for years. But then when you get married, there's something different about that. And there's something different because the two of you will come together today and you will exchange vows, committing yourselves to be with each other all the days of your life in good and bad times. And, uh, and what that means is that you choose to forsake all others for the one who now stands in front of you. And uh, Gabriel, Angelica, I think the best picture of that is the picture of the blade of a knife. You've heard it said before, you will leave your mother and father and cleave to each other. And, uh, and the reason for that is that picture of the blade of a knife, where we get the word cleaver from, it's, uh, it's got its own scratches and blemishes on the left. Maybe one or two scratches and blemishes on the right. But there's the point of the blade of a knife where you can no longer tell the difference between the left and the right hand side of the blade. That's what a sharp blade looks like. And that's what your marriage needs to look like. So you two maintain your identities and your own personalities, but you will become one. And that's what we're doing today. And so uh, with that in mind, as we start together, I'm going to ask you guys to take each other by the right hand. And Jotika, you, if you'd like, you can pass your bouquet on to your bridesmaids. Here we go. Brilliant. Gabriel and Jotika, I require and charge you both that if either of you know of any impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in marriage, that you do now confess it. Do you, Gabriel, were to devet, declare that as far as you know, there is no lawful impediment to your proposed marriage with Jotika Singh here present, and that you call all here present to witness that you take Jotika Singh to be your lawful wife, if so, Please say, I do. I do. <laughs> he does. Jotika. Do you, Jotika Singh, declare that as far as you know, there is no lawful impediment to your proposed marriage with Gabriel Buerta de Vet here present, and that you call all here present to witness that you, Jotika Singh, take Gabriel Buerta de Vet to be your lawful husband? If say, so, please say, I do. I do. <laughs> now, you, you guys are all aware that this is a really special couple. Um, nothing is normal with them. Uh, uh, nothing is abnormal either. It's, it's unique, right? It's unique. It's unique to have two weddings in two parts of South Africa. Uh, what is normal is to choose the best part of South Africa for last <laughs> and to keep the best for last. And so as you get ready to do your vows, uh, Gabriel and Jotika actually wrote their own vows uh, to be added on. And so with that in mind, may I ask who presents this woman to be married? I was hoping that was going to happen. <laughs> All right. Gabriel, we're going to start with you. I promise to always... Um, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Embrace and support you in your biggest dreams. Celebrate your... <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate your smallest accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> Be the, the calm you need when, when life gets overwhelming, <laughs> like now. <laughs> <laughs> Be a safe space for all your thoughts. Remain the, the honorary employee that your Musa needs. <laughs> <laughs> Support AB InBev as long as you work there. <laughs> 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 Follow you anywhere and see the world with you. Massage your aches and pains after a long day. Teach you Python and endorse your skills on LinkedIn. <laughs> Be there to help you and support you with any future academic endeavors. Share my love and adoration for you with the rest of the world. Listen to you and support you. Listen to and support your breathtaking musical talent. I will always be your number one fan. 
<laughs> I'll always be there until we're old and wrinkly. Can we give him a round of applause? Those were brilliant. <laughs> and so, Gabriel, that was an amazing start. Allow me to attempt to finish it off. Jatika today. Jatika today. I call. I call. All here present. All here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Gabriel. That I, Gabriel. Take you, Jatika. Take you, Jatika. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Recognizing. Recognizing. There may be good or bad times. There may be good or bad times. Times of plenty or times mm -hmm. of need. Times of plenty and times of need. Times of sickness or health. Times of sickness and health. From this day. From this day. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And respect you. And respect you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. <laughs> this is where we get to vote on which of the <laughs> vows are better. <laughs> yours are so good. <laughs> That's all right, because he wrote yours as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. Has he? Pasa. Has Baba. Volleyball. Etc. I promise to never call you by your name unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> I, was al I will always create new names for you. <laughs> that only we understand. My husband, Water. If you're ever down, I promise to support you in the bot lane and throw protection and healing charms. <laughs> I will always encourage you to go to the gym, even if you hate me for doing it. You know you secretly enjoy it. <laughs> I will never let us be boring. We will always learn new things like German, dancing, and climbing. I will always be lay you. <laughs> if you have any burdens, I'll be your Sam and help you carry it. <laughs> but more than anything, I will never stop loving you, even when we disagree on academic literature. <laughs> I will continue to love you and love you more every day that goes by. <laughs> Done. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Deep breath. Gabriel today. Gabriel today. I call. I call. All here present. All here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Jessica. That I, Jessica. Take you, Gabriel. Take you, Gabriel. <laughs> to be my husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from, this day forward, from this day forward, recognizing, recognizing there, may be good or bad times, there may be good or bad times, times of plenty or times of need, times of, plenty or times of, need, times of, sickness, or health, times of sickness or health, from this day, from this day I, promise to love you, I promise to love you and respect you, and respect you as, long as, as long as we both shall live. You guys did a good job over there. <laughs> I'm going to ask William and Alon if you can come and bring me the rings. These are the best ring bearers we've ever seen. So come on, guys. Come. Come. Hey, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gabriel and Jatika, you're about to exchange rings and they are beautiful pieces of jewelry. Uh, and I know that you've heard many... Um, uh, metaphors of what they mean, uh, especially the one that says they're a perfect circle and so your love needs to be perfect and never ending. Um, but I'd like to leave you with one extra thought today, two actually. As you place these rings onto each other's ring finger, uh, they are signs and symbols. It's a sign to you that you've forsaken all others for the one who now stands in front of you. But it's also a symbol to you. If your marriage is anything like mine and anything like every other marriage represented here today, there will be times where you feel a bit distant from each other. It usually happens when work has just got a bit much and there's a huge amount of stress and you haven't been able to go on date night for a little while and you're just not able to go climbing like you usually do um, and you just feel like you're a little bit distant. 
in those moments where you do feel distant, I want to encourage you to look down at your left hand and take a look at these rings. And I want you to remember this moment, the moment where we stood under the trees, uh, where you exchanged vows and gave each other these rings and thought of the future full of hope and potential because that's the future you'll be living in when you feel a little bit distant, that will be the future you live in. It's full of hope and full of potential. So Gabriel, will you take this ring? They said on to Jotika's ring finger. And if you'd repeat after me. Jotika, I give you the ring. Jotika, I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Of my promise. Of my promise. To you today. To you today. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of our mutual love. Of our mutual love. A sign. A sign. I have taken you. I have taken you to be my wife. To be my wife. <laughs> Gabriel, I give you this ring. Gabriel, I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Of my promise. Of my promise. <laughs> to you today. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of our mutual love. Of our mutual love. A sign. A sign. I have taken you. I have taken you to be my husband. To be my husband. <laughs> Tiki can take our hands again. Gabriel and Jotika, you've come before us today, your friends and your family, and expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've made promises of devotion to one another. You've uh, taken each other by the right hand and sealed these promises with the giving and the receiving of rings. Therefore, I declare that Gabriel Bwete Devet and Jotika Singh here present have been lawfully married. Gabriel, this means you may kiss your bride. I was going to say, I was going to say you cannot kiss your husband, but it looks like you already did. <laughs> Jotika, just not to be outdone by your husband, you can kiss your husband now. <laughs> well, guys, congratulations. I get to be the first to say congratulations. Actually, I'm not sure if I was the first because everybody went crazy uh, at that point over there. Um, but as you begin this new journey, um, I'd love to just leave you with a few thoughts, um, a couple of thoughts to take you uh, into the future. And there's just three of them. One, two, three. Number one, remember. Number two, forget. And number three, love. And this is what it is. And it, in remembering, today is about remembering. I want you to remember today the special moment that today is. Remember and slow it down the rest of the day. Slow it down. Take mental images all day long. Remember, remember the excitement. Remember your friends who are sitting around you, who went crazy when you kissed. Remember that moment. Remember these vows, these special vows. You see, your marriage vows are important not only now when you make them. They're important in the difficult times when you have to keep those vows. But I want you to remember them, the old school vows that we, that we repeat, to have and to hold from this day forward, in good and bad times, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, as long as we both shall live. I want to encourage you to remember those days. So number one is remember, right? Number two is forget. Okay. I want you to remember to forget as well. And this is what I want you to remember to forget. I want you to remember to forget each other's bad points. Because here's the thing about marriage. Marriage is a magnifying glass. It, it magnifies all the good things, but also magnifies all the bad things. And so it's good for me to know that my wife, Anthea, who you've met, uh, that Anthea loves me in spite of all the bad stuff she's found out about me. <laughs> And I want you to remember that today, Gabriel, this woman in our holds your hand. She will choose to be with you for always, even when she finds out bad stuff about you. And we've all got that in us. I know you think your bride hasn't, but maybe there's one thing you're going to find out uh, in the future. Be quick to forgive. Be quick to forgive each other. Uh, remember that neither of you are perfect, so be quick to forgive. Play the game of who goes first. All right. I love this game in marriage. It's who goes first. It's who goes first to forgive. Who goes first to say sorry. Who goes first to say, how can I serve you? So I want you to remember to forget. Last one is, I want you to learn to love each other and remember to love each other. And this is the kind of love that you want to express to each other in marriage. It's an unconditional kind of love. It's a humbling yourself kind of love. It's a sacrificial and a serving kind of love. That's the love of marriage. The problem is that 
in the English language, love fails us because there's only one word for it. Because you love your spouse, but at the same time, you also love pizza and you also love rugby until the team is doing badly, in which case you love soccer. All right. And so here's the thing. We've got the same word for love, but the love between a husband and a wife is the kind of love that says, how can I serve you? It's the kind of love that says, I'm sorry. Gabriel, it means this. When you're wrong, you say, I'm sorry. When you're right, you don't say anything. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. J Jodica, it's about how do you serve each other? And so you can serve your husband by learning to put the toilet seat back up again. All right? <laughs> It'll just solve so many problems if you just learn how to do that. I came across this really good definition of love, and I'd love to share it with you. It just it simply says this. Love is a rugged commitment to be for someone, to be with someone, towards helping them reach their full potential. And I love it. It's rugged. It's going to have up and down times. It's, uh, it's the kind of love that says, I'm with you, and I'm for you. I will always be your biggest fan. You said that in your vows, mate. Um, I'll always be your biggest fan. Uh, you said it in your vows. I will always be like you. I will be for you and I will be with you until you reach full potential and I love that you said it in your vows you said um, I'll support your academic uh, all your academic dreams and that's to help each other become their full potential all right become all that they can be and so I want to encourage you to do that you see the phrase I love you is as much a promise of behavior and commitment as it is an expression of feeling and so today as you start out this new adventure guys um, I'm convinced you're going to get this right because you've, I've watched you you love each other you're committed to each other and, uh, and I want to just remind you to always remember forget and love as you head out into this exciting new future together and so now what we're going to do is we're going to sign the register and uh, that's just behind the groomsmen. So I'm going to ask um, our two uh, uh, witnesses um, if you'll come and join me. And we're going to sign the register just behind there. All right. Let's make our way across there, guys. Talk about, we're talking about How we all understand ourselves Straight and bow, we stand up and bow To a heart that gave away This time I couldn't say Come out from your cover now When you crash through the gate Then it's easy to find yourself Don't we all indeed Pray to God that we'll succeed Another day is another reason The need just to know the unknown Oh, now you can cry You fall a long, long way behind Don't you compromise to demise Oh, and I know that he'll stand there tall When the gates open Oh, and I know that he'll stand there tall as we grow old. Right, everybody, let me tell you what's going to happen from here. You're about to start the festivities. So I want to introduce you, your MC for the day and the night, Vishal. There he is right at the back, everybody. That strapping young man at the back over there. Um, when he speaks to you, it's not because he's had too much of the gin, right? It's because he needs to make an important announcement. So please pay attention to what he's going to say to you. The next one is, as we leave from here, we're going to ask you all to make a tunnel heading back down to the bottom of the hill. Uh, if you're part of the family, you're going to be coming back here after the tunnel to have some family photos. We're going to just sign the legal register inside, and then the, the couple are going to be coming back here again. So if you're part of the family, just hang around at the back over here. Don't go all the way down to the bottom. They're going to be coming back up here again. And then if you're taking photos and you're thinking about putting them on social media, please make sure you hashtag Devet Sing Wedding 2021. 
all right? That way we can make sure that they can get to see your pictures afterwards. Um, and I'm sure that that will be great for them. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you can very quickly please stand. If you can grab some confetti on your way out and you could make a tunnel down on the other side where the tree is, uh, follow Vishal and he'll tell you what to do. Don't you compromise